Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about the achievements and the limitations of Mendeleev's periodic table. Okay. So in the as we have discussed in the previous lecture about the Mendeleev's periodic table, now we will see what were the main achievements and what were the main limitations. So first we will start with the achievements. Okay. So first we will discuss about achievements of Mendeleev's periodic table. Okay. So why? Developing the periodic table, there was a few instances where Mendeleev had to place an element with a slightly greater atomic mass before an element with a slightly lower atomic mass. So, what it did at some instances, at some instances. Mendeleev's had to place an element with the slightly greater atomic mass with the slightly greater atomic mass before an element with the slightly with the slightly lower atomic mass okay so the sequence was inverted so that elements why he did so the sequence was inverted means he changed the sequence because he was arranging the element with higher atomic mass prior to the element with lower atomic mass. So the sequence was inverted so that elements with similar properties with similar properties could be grouped could be grouped together for example cobalt atomic mass 58.9 appeared before appeared before nickel and I atomic mass 58.7 okay so looking at the table you can also find out that that he placed cobalt and nickel together where cobalt at this and nickel at this okay here after the iron so you can see in the previous lecture where I have shown you the Mendeleev's periodic table. So further, further there were some instances Mendeleev's left some gaps. Mendeleev's left some gaps in his periodic table. Okay, so instead of looking upon these gaps as defects, Mendeleev boldly predicted the existence of some elements that had not been discovered at that time. Okay, so why he left some gaps there? So he said that there he predicted that 
there had not been some elements that should be there elements that should be there and were yet to find yet to find okay so mendeley is named them by prefixing a sanskrit numeral ekka so those elements which were not found then so he named these elements as ekka to the name of the preceding element in the same group for instance scandium gallium and germanium scandium gallium and germanium okay discovered later and have properties similar to ekka boro so these elements that were not at that time and were discovered later and have the properties similar to that of the boro and similarly ekka aluminum and ekka similar silicon respectively so these were the uh, achievements of the mendeley's periodic table okay now we will discuss about the limitations of mendeley's periodic table let me first erase this so students now we will discuss about the limitations of the mendeley's periodic table okay so the first limitation was that hydrogen resembles that of alkali metals hydrogen resembles that of alkali metals okay and like hydrogen combines with halogens oxygen sulfur to form compounds that are similar like these compounds are made by hydrogen h2s okay similar to like of na nacl na2o na2s so it is h2s okay so on the other hand just like halogens hydrogen also exists as diatomic molecule so it has some properties like halogens okay so certainly no fixed position no fixed position can be given to hydrogen can be given to hydrogen in the periodic table in the periodic table okay so this was the first limitation of mendeley's periodic table second at the time when mendeley had proposed his periodic classification of elements isotopes were isotopes were not discovered then when mendeley gave his periodic classifications so where to arrange the challenge was to main the main challenge was to so isotopes of all elements what are isotopes students that i have told you in previous classes also that are same atomic number the elements having same atomic number but different atomic masses like chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 also okay so these have atomic mass different atomic masses so isotopes of all elements posed a challenge to mendeley's periodic table mendeley's periodic law or table okay so this was the second limitation of the mendeley's periodic table so students till far we have discussed about uh, the advantages or limitations of the mendeley's uh, periodic table and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there 
and stay tuned for the next lecture on the model periodic table thank you students happy learning